Yo, what's going on? Thank you guys for tuning in. You know you rocking with JFK, man, and you know it's JFK's way, man. That's my channel, and I'm JFK. So uh, if you don't know, if you ain't familiar by now, that's cool, man. Again, check me out. Follow me on Instagram, JFK underscore the great. Check me out. Again, you can subscribe right here, man. Again, it's free. It don't cost you nothing at all to subscribe, man. Hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think, man. You guys, uh, if you, like I said, if you're familiar with me, great. If you're not, Get really, really familiar with me, man. I'm a collector, man. So I'm in the cap community, which, you know, every video I'm, I'm displaying and wearing a different type of fitted. Uh, I'm in the comic community because, of course, I collect comics. And slowly but surely getting getting somewhat back into I'm, I'm rocking back and forth in the, in, in the kit community with the sneakers, man. But today, we are celebrating 17 years, man. 17 years of the interleague play for the MLB. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with that, I'm going to show you guys right here. This pin right here is exactly what that represents. Now, today is June 13th, which will be the last day uh, of the little mini series that these guys have between the team Cleveland Indians, which, of course, as you guys see, I'm wearing the winning team, and the Cincinnati Reds. Now, um, these are two logos that are iconic, that have been around for a really, really long time. And uh, with the news actually happening in the last year or so, that this logo actually being 100% discontinued, they would no longer be using it. I wanted to show my collection. So I ain't going to talk too much, man. I'm going to jump into a few of these. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to get into something you do. Again, most of these you don't see every day. This one right here in particular, this is green and orange. If you cannot see that. Now, my high school was in Orlando, Florida. My high school was Jones High. Now, Jones is, is one of the biggest and one of the most popping schools in Orlando, Florida. And this right here was our colors, man. Crazy enough, I was born in the year of the Tiger, and the mascot for that school was Jones High Tigers. But this right here, this is orange and green. So, of course, you know, no biasness to it. I had to pick this up. I know people like orange and green. Of course, you know, the, the Indians aren't orange or green. So, boom, got one of those right there. Now, this is kind of like the counterpart to what I'm wearing right here, but don't, don't worry about it. You check my videos out before I showed you guys these hats up close. I believe I showed the whole, the three set. This right here is from the World Series 1997. This is white with the red eyelets right here. You guys see the red eyelets are actually all around the fitted. You see that red Indian, that navy brim, and a gray UV classic gray. So this right here, as you guys can see from the side patch, again, this is from the World Series, 1997. Let's get straight into the next one. Now, this is one of the oldest and one of my favorites of all time. This one, I believe I showed in my last video, which is white and red. The red button being at the top. You see the white eyelets. And actually on the back is not even a Major League Baseball logo. It's actually another Indian. So that's also something you do not see. Now, what's on my head right now? Don't worry about it. I can show you guys a close-up because I got two. Now, this right here, as you guys see, I still got it in the plastic and everything, man, how it came. This is just, they restocked it lately, which is crazy, because the rumors were we would never, ever see these again. This is from a 1954. If you look at that right there, that patch is 1954 All-Star Game. You guys see with the navy crown, the red brim, the gray classic UV. And there's actually no new era logo on this at all. Right to the right side, you have the American for the American League. And then on the left, you have that huge, un, unseen, hardly ever side patch. 1954, man, again, I wouldn't even thought of. You know, if you're watching this, you probably wouldn't even thought of at that time. So, again, when you see stuff like that, it's just it's crazy, man. You got to appreciate it. Now, this right now, I don't think y'all looking like you got it in a, I got it in a Ziploc bag because these, you don't want them to yellow. You don't want them to tarnish. And with white hats, they tend to do that. Again, if you're a collector and you've been around for a while, uh, I know there's a lot of guys that are just new to collecting hats. I'm like, yo, where you been? You know what I'm saying? So over 15 years doing this, man. So uh, you guys see that right there, that white and red, the white crown, the red and white Indian with the red outlining, the red brim, red UV, fully red. You see that new era, but that stick out. That's that, yeah, that's what I like to see, man. Again, this is old, though. This has been around for years. And uh, let me show you guys another one. Now, not red and white, but red and gray. I know this kind of looks possibly the UV right here is white which is the undervisor. The UV is white. You guys see what they did. Yeah, that new era sign stick out. So again, these are just classics, man. Just classic logos. Now this one right here is actually one of my more recent ones. I actually got this in Queens when I was in New York last. Uh, shout out to my guy over there uh, in Queens at Exclusive Fitness. Helped me down. Now this, I do not wear C hats at all, but this Cincinnati with, with, the, with the Indian in, in, inside you can't, excuse me, the Cleveland. I, look, I'm saying Cincinnati. I'm saying Cincinnati, that's them guys. The Cleveland with the C, mind you, naturally, normally, that's not 
you know, what you see too, too often. You see, I got that pin right there. He actually threw that on it. It actually came like that. So when I got it, I was like, he was like, yeah, they're all like that. They all come with pins. I said, what? And you guys see, what did I just tell you about? That extremely rare 1954 all-star game and yes a white new era logo man i love that again i have not put this so i have one of a few of these to be honest with you just some things you just buy and you love some things you keep in the collection classic this right here this one probably 10 years old by itself this this one real dirty a little flimsy you can probably see how flimsy that is i've definitely rocked this one enough uh yeah this thing in front this is actually a black new era logo a lot of people might think that it's navy because of the camera and because of the lighting, but it's actually black. Like, this is not a red and navy Indian. It's a red and black Indian. So, uh, see dirt marks and everything on this. This thing old, oh, man. Again, I've been around for a long time, you know? Let's just get to the next ones, man. Let me, we're going to burn through some of these, man. I believe I have. I'm showing you guys a little over 20, uh, 22, I believe. These right here. This is gray, gray, all gray, crown, a darker gray brim. And a black UV, which I love, man. When I got this, I just, I remember grabbing this like, man, it's crazy. Now, this one is actually another one uh, that's kind of recent for me, too. Uh, but this is actually an old hat. This hat, who knows the year of production on this, but as you guys see, and if you look, there's actually two different kind of Indians. You see this Indian, and you see, it ain't a little different. You see that? I'm giving you guys the game. It's my phone going off, but we're going to get back to that later, man. And then this, this brim right here, this is like almost like Oreo-ish, it's like material too. So they didn't even put a sticker on it. The sticker is actually at the bottom. The side sticker is at the bottom. So I love this, man, with a white New Era sign. You see that that pops, that really sticks out. So when I seen this, you know, I had to pick that up. There was actually two other ones that was real similar to that. They had red highlights, but they were size seven, which is really, really small. And I was like, you can't even stretch these ones. Like, there's no way I can wear that. So, and you know, you know I gotta keep some icy ones. I told you guys what I do with my whites, man. So you know how you gotta keep these. I'm even gonna bust this open. I'm just gonna show you guys. All white, icy, icy. Still in the plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta keep mine in Ziplocs, man. Now this right here is really, really rare. Uh, this was actually on sale at a lids a few years back. Uh, I actually left and went back, and it was still there. Now this is classic, classic MLB logo, which is white, red, and navy. But you see that side patch? Boom, Jacobs Field. Jacob's Field right there, man. You see that Indian? Whew. Icy. It's an isotope right there, man. This is actually big. Uh, this is actually from the Ultimate. You guys can't see that. It says Ultimate Patch Collection, which was done years back. So this is actually one of the cheapest hats I've ever bought in my life. Still got the receipt right here. I paid $5.77 for this hat. So, yeah, good old lids, man. Sometimes, you know, they, they don't let you down sometimes. Sometimes you walk in there, just a bunch of normal... Bland shit, and then sometimes it's like, whoo. Let's get to let's get to some of these things too. Again, I'm I'm, I'm not a fan of army fatigue, but I had to add these, man. You see, this is just again things that you do not see every day with the black UV, which is the under visor. You see the black highlights in the in the like sandstorm fatigue, right? So that's one. It's almost like a combo with this. You see that? That's a that's a tan Indian though. That's a brown Indian. You don't see that all the time. Boom. Now this one. This India is kind of like goldish, almost. It's like a goldish, cinnamon, kind of metallic brown. I don't know if you guys can catch that, but the eyes and the mouth blackened out. I said, yo, this is crazy. So you know I had to add this to the collection. Again, another black UV, the under visor, black eyelets, and a black button right here at the top. So I love that they did this, man. Again, I'm just showing you guys stuff that you don't see every day. And I know you don't see it every day because I'm a collector. Again, I've been rocking fitness for over 15 years, and I don't see them every day. So, you know. And this right here is one of my personal favorites. Can't let you guys go without seeing that. But you guys see the age in some of these, man. You can see the age, especially in this red, because the red is so bright. Right? Boom. All red. You know the crazy thing, too? There's no new era on this. Yes, it's a new era hat. Yes, it's new era, but there's no new era logo anywhere on this. All red and a blackened out Indian. How gangster is that? I'm kind of giving it to you guys so you can see it a little bit. How G is that? Right? But again, the age kind of shows in some of these, man. This one too. This one was like, hold on, what? Like, yeah, almost like a Mike Tyson kind of feel a little bit, right? Yeah, but this one's all black with the gray and white Indian. And you guys see that that, that missing tooth, they pretty much blackened it out, colored it in. Like it's a missing tooth right there. So, uh, and this is actually classic, man. They got a lot of Batermans coming out. I've been a fan for years and years and years of the classic Cardinal swinging bat. 
uh, recently the Tiger one has taken off, man. I'm talking about some of these price tags are over 200. Some of them are over 100 easy the same day they're releasing these resale guys, man. And uh, Sports World, they keep putting them out. They've done 18 since the month of April. Right now we are in June. So if you count that, it's like, damn, they've done 18 different variations of a Tiger. Now this right here is the Indian, which you do not see. The full-fledged Indian swinging and also, ironically enough, brand new, icy, but... You see this? It's a classic green UV. There's no, oh, excuse me, the new era. Look, I, I almost ain't think there was no new era sign on it. It's blended in. It's all navy. Like I said, man, I hate that they do that. Like, I don't see, like, why this wouldn't have been white because of the Indian's white. Why wouldn't this have been red because, the you know, the, the highlight, the top button is white. I mean, red. The brim is red. So why didn't they make this red? Who knows, man? But this is a classic, man. This is one, again, something you definitely do not see every day. Now, I'm going to get to my last, what, one, two, three, four. My last four which are probably some of my favorites. Excuse me, my last three. I already showed you guys that classic red. That red and black, though, not red and navy like people be thinking. Boom. This is probably my all-time favorite. And again, we are celebrating 17 years. This right here was the last day for the interleague right here. That pin right there. 2004, man. So that was almost 20 years ago. So over a decade and a half, man, we celebrating the Cincinnati's overall win. And this right here is just beautiful, man. This is purple. If you guys can't see because of the shading, hopefully the light picks it up great. This is purple. Purple Indian. White highlights. Classic MLB logo on the back, but the logo is purple and white. And it's just purple teeth and everything, man. That's something you just, again, you don't walk around every day and see this. I've yet to wore this. I actually picked that up in Queens. Uh, excuse me. Excuse, I, I'm going to not mention the location of where I got that because I got to go back. They got, some, they got some things in there, man. Also, another one of my favorites, I call these the Wonder Twins. They're, they're fraternal, you know, they're both teal brims. But the newer sound on this one is white. The newer sound on this one is teal. The face on this one is white. <laughs> well, excuse me, it's like gray. It's like grayish, gray knit with a, with a white teeth. This one right here is teal with purple and white teeth. So it's crazy that they put the, the teal in it, uh, New Era logo, the NE, on this one. So, again, that's just some of, my, some of my collection, man. These are, again, same logo. One of my favorite logos of all time. Uh, and there's tons out there, man. This isn't all of them. There's nowhere near all of them. I've seen some that were just like crazy, crazy shades. I've had some that I've lost that, that again, I've never, ever seen again. I used to have a, uh, a black and yellow one, like a Pittsburgh Pirates one. To this day, I have no clue where that hat's at. Uh, so, so who knows, man? Hopefully one of these days, I'll end up picking up and finding those, man. But thank you guys for tuning in. Just a few of my collection, man. You guys see, again, all of those, all of them fittings right there. That's just that's straight Indians, man. It's all straight Indians. So imagine what else is in the stash, right? You guys know I had to, had to rock this one justly, you know? So as the shirt says, man, sneak is not friends, meaning get more sneak is not more friends. Peace and love. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm the flyest to ever walk in here. You might be listening, wondering.